The Elizabeth Line has certainly transformed travel across London on the east-west axis and there are many examples of where you can save time now with this new line and today I'm testing out just one of them. So the idea is to take the central line direct from Stratford where I am now to Ealing Broadway and then come back on one of the new Elizabeth Line trains. The snag is that there is no direct service still between Ealing Broadway and Stratford. You have to change at Whitechapel, which I will do. But let's see how much time we still save using the new Elizabeth Line. Unattended may be removed without warning or destroyed or damaged by the security services.
And here's another piece of history. The far single line is all that remains of the Great Western Railway link that, in its heyday, enabled expresses, including Pullmans, to run between Paddington, Birmingham and Birkenhead. The line now lies disused. Here, west of North Acton Station, the central line splits and you can see the West Ryslip branch heading off into the distance. Well, 43 minutes and 37 seconds later, here we are at Ealing Broadway. I must admit that was faster than I expected it to be. Uh, maybe possibly because it's not rush hour at the moment. But, uh, well, let's see how things, things fare on the return journey with the Elizabeth Line. Apparently, I need a train that says Abbey Wood on its destination. Take that as far as Whitechapel and then change to a train that says Shenfield on the front. And that should get me back to Stratford where we started.
District, Hammersmith and City, and London Overground Lines. Whitechapel station for the Elizabeth line and it's not really boding too well at the moment things might get better but we had two stops on the way into Paddington and I feel that the dwell times on these this particular train the Elizabeth line uh, seem to take longer than the underground which gives the underground a bit of a chance to catch up but we'll see what the final figure is when we get to um, Stratford uh, currently we're on 31 minutes and 38 seconds so we'll see how we go So I reckon I've saved about three minutes, which wasn't really what I was expecting. I was expecting a lot more than that. So could it have been better? We had two stops before we got to Paddington. We had dwell time, as I said, at various stations, which seemed to take longer than a tube train would. And so therefore, uh, on this particular occasion, we have saved time, but it's about three minutes, I think, in total. Uh, so whether it was worth it with having to the hassle of having to change i really don't know but let me just say before you start writing comments at the bottom yes this is still a very good service because on other examples that i've used uh, other times that i've used this particular train it has been a, a very big difference say like paddington to abbey wood has made a massive difference on what it used to be so overall it's still a good service and a better service than what we had before just Perhaps not on this occasion, maybe. See you again soon. Bye-bye.